In the 1800s, when the policy of manifest destiny dominated, blood quantum was born. Formalized into law with the passage of the General Allotment Act of 1887, blood quantum requirements of 25% became the most effective tool for the United States to reacquire land allotted to Indians. Under the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act of 1920, a 50% blood quantum was set as the minimum requirement for identification as Native Hawaiian, and 194,000 acres of land were allotted for qualified Native Hawaiians. 81 years after passage of the Homestead Act, more than 150,000 acres, or over 75% of this land, is still held by government agencies or private businesses. Disgracefully, over 30,000 Kanaka Maoli have died on the waiting list. My father died without achieving his goal to leave his four daughters in Hawaiian homes land. Of the 5,800 native Hawaiians who have been awarded lease land, only 3,700 are actually on the land. Today, over 16,000 qualified applicants remain on the waiting list and the U.S. government continues to claim that land is unavailable. What a great job Ray Soon and the, and the Hawaiian Home Commissioners have done. And I want to acknowledge Ray. He doesn't know, he didn't know I was going to do this. But Ray, stand up and take a bow for the department. On U.S. Bureau of Census reports, conservative mathematical models predict that within four generations the Kanaka Maoli will be virtually extinct as a people based on the blood quantum that federal recognition requires. At that time, the United States will complete its unstated policy of genocide against the Kanaka Maoli and finally take legal title to Hawaiian national lands. And I pledge that I will use every authority vested in me as your governor, every resource available to my administration to successfully defend and protect the rights of Native Hawaiians. Now, from Hilo to Hanalei, live, local, late-breaking. Several families are homeless tonight after state agents cleared their makeshift homes from the campgrounds at Mokolaia. This is the fifth time state agents were forced to remove campers from that particular location. And we know what colonialism means. The exploitation and subjugation of the weak by the powerful. The many by the few of the governed who have given no consent to be governed. We're not going to live on a street! We don't have a house! Yes! Will you give us some food of land and put it on us? Yes! We're going to give us land! That continuing tide of self-determination which runs so strong has our sympathy and our support. At the front gate this morning, the state made it clear who owns the property. Nestor Garcia, Channel 2 News, Makapu'u Point. A rousing round of applause as Governor Cayetano accepts congratulations now on his State of the State address, a speech that lasted about 45 minutes. He talked about keeping the economic momentum going, reforming the civil service system, expanding the cruise ship industry, turning the Alawai Golf Course into a world-class park, the redevelopment of Kaka'ako with a world-class aquarium and a science and technology center, as well as the University of Hawaii Medical School.